everybody! So in today's video I've got another anime figure haul for you guys. Um, today it's mostly Nendoroids and a few pop-up parades. Most of these I prepaid for months ago, they just all happen to arrive at the same time. So I'm really excited to show you guys and there's a lot to cover so let's get into it. First up we have Eriri from Saikono How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. So this is the kimono version. Um, Eriri is definitely best girl in my opinion. This Nendoroid retails for 5,200 yen and the details of the flowers on her kimono and her hair are fantastic. So she comes with her messy hair and her glasses and I know this is a classic Eriri look but I feel like these should have been accessories to the original Eriri Nendoroid instead of this kimono version because I kind of think the kimono and the hair don't really match. Overall, this Nendoroid feels like a supplementary Nendoroid to the original Eriri Nendoroid, which I don't have. So I'd suggest just picking up the classic one if you were going to choose one of the two, because that one has way better faceplates, like they are so good. I really would die for that bang faceplate. But the Kimono version is really pretty, and I'll definitely be picking up Utaha and Megumi to complete the trio because they look so beautiful together. So it wouldn't be a Daisho Boo Boo video if I didn't have something from Fate to show you guys. So next up, I've got two Nendoroids from Type Moon Racing. We've got the racing version of Saber Lily or Altoria, and we've got the racing version of Jean as well. So if you didn't know, Good Smart Racing and Type Moon Racing are actually a real racing team that competes in the Japanese Super GT competition and um, they've announced a new line of figures with Saber Lily, Jean and Nero and there's Nendoroids, Figmas and Scales and I am so hyped because they look so good. I am such a sucker for racing figures. I, I don't know, I just, I love this idea that like random anime girls would give a shit about supporting a racing team in real life. It's and all of the outfits are always like really nice. So let's look at Saber Lily first. Uh, she retails for 5,000 yen and I absolutely love the design and colors on this Nendoroid. They look so cool. The details on this Nendoroid are amazing. Just the quality of the different racing logos that are printed on their bodies are great. So accessories wise, you get an open and closed umbrella and Excalibur her sword. So you can get pretty creative with the poses for this Nendoroid. So then looking at Jean, she also retails for 5,000 yen. Same as Saber, the details on this are amazing. So she has her classic flag and a wheel gun as her props here. I would have liked them to throw in a third one since Saber got three. So they could have used the little gas canister like they did in the Figma. I think that'd be really cute. And holy crap, she actually broke when I was putting her together for the B-roll. And I'm pretty pissed off about this because I have over 40 Nendoroids and I've never had issues changing legs but oh my god Jean's legs were so hard to change I don't know if this was a quality control issue I don't know if it's just mine or all of these Nendoroids but I'm definitely going to have to glue it or blue tack it on just to help display it but kind of pissed off about that I've also got the Nero one coming in the next few weeks so you guys will probably see her in another video also from Fate, we have Emi Ishiro. So I think this one was a re-release. This is a pretty old Nendoroid at number 555. This one retails for about 4,300 yen. So this is when they were using articulated arms, so it's easier to pose, but I don't think it looks as good because you can see all the joints. He comes with his twin swords as well as his rolled up poster. I think this is a pretty good pickup for Fate anime fans. Next up, I've got some Persona Nendoroids. I also picked up this ridiculous Morgana face plush and I think it's so cute. Persona Royale was actually my first Persona game and I enjoyed it so much. And I love the gang, so of course I had to pick up the Nendoroids. I already have the Joker and the N Nendoroids, so I'm really excited to pick up the rest of the gang. First up, we have Futaba. I think this one retails for 4,600 yen. Futaba is such a good Nendoroid. I really love her grinning faceplate especially, and the accessories here are awesome as well. She comes with Morgana, a bunch of snacks, a keyboard, a sitting pose, and all of the Persona Nendoroids come out with like a transparent sheet so you can do their all out attack sequences. I highly recommend this one for Persona fans, although it's kind of weird that Futaba's Nendoroid is the only one where she's not in her like Phantom Thieves outfit. 
But I am okay with this because I'm actually not that big a fan of her Phantom Thieves design. Next up we have my precious boy Ryuji Sakamoto or Skull. Uh, this one retails for 5,000 yen. I'm not too into the faceplates for this Nendoroid. I wish he didn't look so sad in the standard one and since the other two are a bit over the top I would have just liked one where he's smiling. Accessories wise he comes with a pipe and a shotgun. Last up we have Haru Okamura or Noah. She also retails for about 5,000 yen. I love her obnoxiously big hat. She comes with an axe, a grenade launcher, and of course, a nice hot cup of tea along with a little chair for sitting in. I really like this one. I think it's really sweet. So I'm keeping my eye out for Yusuke and Makoto's, but they're a little harder to get my hands on. Next up, I've got some pop-up parades. So these are super affordable figures by Good Smart Company. Each of them come in at 3,500 yen. Keeping with the Persona theme, we have the Joker pop-up parade. I pre-ordered this because I really wanted a Joker figure, but the two scales are a little bit too expensive, so I'm really excited to have him. This, again, is a really nice pop-up parade. I think they did a really good job with the sculpt and the coloring so even though his outfit is mostly black you can see a lot of the details in the texture and the fabric of his figure the downside here for me is his pose i don't know if it's just me but i kind of find it a bit awkward i kind of like the kotobukiya one more and actually heads up the kotobukiya joker figure is actually up for a re-release and i'm debating if i want to pre-order that because he looks so hot <laughs> Finally, we have the Neko Para Papa Parades. I did mention I was getting these in a previous video and I'm so happy they're finally here. So let's take a closer look at both of them together. These figures look amazing. They packed a lot of detail in these, especially with the hair sculpt and all the details on their uniform. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but looking at them in person, there are a few flaws in the painting and there's a few mold lines, but I can forgive these because of the price point. I think these figures are great for people who like Nekopara but aren't hardcore enough to drop like five or six hundred dollars on a set of one fourth girls or ones with cloth clothes or or the ones with the cat toys. So that's all the figures for this haul but I also wanted to quickly show you guys some enamel pins that I've received. I'm really into collecting enamel pins and I thought I'd just show you guys real quick in case you're interested. First up are these two from a Kickstarter. These are from Saritama Art and they're really cute evolution magical ones. I picked Leafeon and Sylveon. Then I got these Animal Crossing ones also from a Kickstarter. These ones are by Onikatsu. So these are some super cute pins from Animal Crossing's New Horizons. I was totally addicted to that game. As well as this like shaky shaky acrylic charm. That's everything I wanted to show you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye bye! Wave!